Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with episode number eight of Human Resource Machine. Last time around, we was trying to um, work on this uh, program here. Um, we fell into like this little error that we was uh, needing debugging. So let's uh, let's go back a step. So we'd taken the five. That minus that. It's that. So if it's negative, which it's not, it's not negative. So what we need to do is rather than jump, we then need to copy one, copy from one. That's what we need to do. We always need to copy from one. If it's the last one, we can send that to the outbox. Alright, let's give this a go instead. Eight should be the last number we outbox here. Alright, so I've broken my code somehow. Why did we end up taking that back to there? So if it's negative, which it is, then we need to jump. <coughs> Copy from one. Oh, we need to do the negative first. Okay. going to be very suboptimal, I feel. Do we up to, is it up to an including? Yeah, up to, but not exceeding. Alright, I need to debug that again. So why do we always end up with a one? Thirteen plus eight is twenty one. So then we take from oh, we're going to need to go back further. So it's twenty one. this. Two. It's negative, so copy from one, copy to zero, copy from two, copy to one, copy from zero, outbox. Copy from zero, copy to one, copy to two. If it's negative, copy from one, to one, zero, Three, two to one, sorry. Outbox. Come from zero. Gives me five. Gives me negative two. Three to zero. Five to one, three to the outbox. Cut from zero, gives me eight. Okay, well, it's not negative. So what am I 
doing that. Why was I doing that? I don't know. negative. So if it's not negative, before we jump I need to copy from one. Copy from one, move that to the outbox. from there and outbox that. And then I want to copy from two as well. So then, hold on. Copy from two. Subtract from here. If it's zero, copy from two, outbox two, jump. If it's not zero, we're going to jump back to here. Thirteen should be the last number that we outbox. Why am I bumping zero though for a start? Alright, let's just copy that a minute. Place it in here. I don't want to bump that for a start. So, copy from there, zero, zero.
13 should be the last one we're out box. Five should be the last one we're out box. Okay. <laughs> we was close on the speed challenge though. We was very close on the speed challenge. Alright, well we'll come back to that one. Alright, mod module. Mod module. How many hours of work can you fit in one day? Not enough. There's always a sad reminder of unworked hours. Good thing we have these optional night shifts to cram in more. For each two things in the inbox, outbox the remainder that will result if they if you had divided the first by the second. Don't worry, don't actually have to divide, and don't worry about negative numbers for now. So So I guess what I'm going to want to do is take the first one to zero, take the next one to one. Copy them first. I think I'm then going to want to copy it also to another one. And then what I'm going to do is subtract to that. Copy it to here. So if it's zero, copy from two, send to the outbox, and repeat. Zero. Do that. If it's negative, do that. So what do we do if it's not? So we need to copy from copy from two. Copy to one. Zero. Uh, 
And then we're going to jump to here. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see whereabouts we're going to roll again. Five and three. pretty good job on the first attempt and now I'm as always struggling so let's clear down the solution inbox copy to here inbox copy to here copy to here so then what we want to do Sub zero. If it's zero or if it's negative, we want to copy from two. So the result to the out box, jump back around to the beginning. So if it's not, Decrement this. Copy from this. Jump back to here. Let's try this. Five. Three. copy from here and sub from here. Alright, what did I do differently that then? Copy to one, copy to three, copy from zero, sub from one, copy to two, bump that one, then copy from two. 
Oh, because that's what's left over. Yeah, that's right. Okay. From there, copy to Oh, my head is fried. Copy from zero. Subtract from one. Oh my goodness. negative let's copy from zero zero oh hold on if it's zero then I just need to outbox remainder so why didn't you pick up the two Feels like me just like fumbling around a bit now, just to like try and get the right solution. We got it. We kind of got there. 
I like to think on merit, but... There's a lot of optimization to uh, look at there, that's for sure. Alright, small divide. We'll have a quick look at this before the end of the episode. We are coming rather close to the end, unfortunately. Remember last time when I told you you didn't need to divide? Well, now you get to. For each two things in the inbox, how many times does the second fully fit the first? Don't worry about negative numbers. Divide by zero or remainders. Okay. So... Oh, can I do that? Can I like, take it from... Hold on. Copy. That is cool. Okay. So, this is what we had before. And we wanted... Last time we wanted the remainder, right? So how about this time, before we start, we're going to copy from here, copy to here, result, and for each time we get to here, we just need to bump up result, right? And then before we go to an outbox, We don't want to copy from there, we want to copy from here. Right before the outbox, right? That jump becomes unnecessarily. So then if it's zero or negative. Alright, so let's let's try this. Let's try this. I bumped it too early. too early. So it needs to be in here, I guess. I also need to bump it if it's zero. Again, I think we're going to be like miles off on the optimization side of things, but it's really cool that you can actually just copy from like cross cross puzzles. You can copy the uh, the solutions and things. All right, guys, that's going to call it a day for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please keep them comments coming. I enjoy what you guys are saying about some of these puzzles, and um, I'll certainly give some thought to some of those that I have been stuck on. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.